What's going on Pisces? How's everybody doing? This is going to be the next move that your person is going to make towards you. The person you're thinking about, one you may be dealing with currently, um, we are going to see. So really think about and tune into the person that you're inquiring about. And we are going to see what their next move will be. I'm also going to pull a message from them to you. We're going to make it as personal as possible. I am giving away two free personal readings for the month of November. So all I need you to do, like each and every month, is become a subscriber if you haven't already done so. And leave a leaf emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine during the month of November. And at the end of the month, I randomly choose those people to win the readings and I reach out to you through YouTube. But I'll always remind you at the end of the month to be checking your notifications for those people that participated. All right, for my KC and spirit, the next move. Yeah, I feel like your person has been feeling trapped. This might be within their own thoughts, things that are going on within their life. And it's like they they have been finding it tough to think outside the box. You know, their thoughts, it, it keeps them trapped. It keeps them feeling like they can't move on. But if you notice, they're weathering the storm. They're walking towards, you know, clearer where it's clear, it's like they're getting through the storm. They're pulling themselves through it, through their challenges. And it's like this person has broken free. What has them feeling trapped and is walking towards you? We'll see what else does come out. This could be things going on within their workplace, things they might have dealt with as a child, things that just are fears and demons within themselves that keep them feeling that way and dreams so pay attention to your dreams Pisces it's possible that you are dreaming about this person especially if you're connected on a soul level possibly a twin flame you're connecting on the 5d but this person has high hopes for this connection between the two of you all right I feel once they come towards you it's like their focus is going to be on this connection. Let's see what else. The next move. See, it's like they're breaking free from the Ten of Swords. And this also could be multiple things that have ended in their life. Things that they had to sort through, prioritize, and they're walking towards the sun. All right, let's see. I love how I broke the deck and it was exactly what that, those cards are saying. I do feel that they're, they're spirit guides. Cast on loved ones are directing them out of the storm. The lovers say, making a big decision to break free, making a big decision to unscrew that, that top. You know, break free from those handcuffs, from those bondages that keep them within their negative state. They know that this is something different. And I feel like I said, they're coming towards you ready to fight for this connection. I feel the distance that they placed between the two of you. They felt heartbreak within that distance. But it's like they had to put that distance between the two of you so they can heal. You might have felt that they were pushing their, you away. Like you might have felt that they were pushing you away, Pisces. They felt they were standing their ground and putting themselves first to deal with this pain that they've, you know, been in. Yeah. You might have met this person online, but I feel the communication might come from like direct message or email because the page of swords is here. So you could possibly be dealing with a younger air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. It's the energy of not completely separating from you, of watching from afar. 
for some of you with the seven of cups here, they might have already been in a relationship um, and they were feeling trapped within that relationship when you met them. And that also might be your energy. Take it how it resonates. But they are missing you. They think about you a lot. The lovers and the two of cups. They know this is something different. This is something more than they're used to dealing with. And they want this union. I have Gemini here. So like I said, I have air energy. So Libra Aquarius. Water energy. So you could be dealing with a fellow water sign also. But then we have Seven of Wands. So there is fire energy showing up here. All right, Spirit. Please clarify the next action this person is going to take. Yeah, they are definitely missing you. I feel like they're realizing this bond, these strong emotions that they feel they can't break free from. And they're going to take a leap of faith towards you. I feel like they're leaving their emotional baggage behind. If they are involved in a situation that is negative or toxic, they are walking away from that. Pay attention to 888. I specifically have Leo on this suitcase. Initial A. 888, Leo. Right, they're breaking free and they're coming towards you. Like I said, they think about you a lot. But whatever this karmic energy is that's keeping them trapped, it could be their own debt. It could be the lack of a job, um, the lack of financial stability to, you know, invest in a relationship. This could be a karmic relationship or marriage that they had to walk away from. You both are thinking about one another. The things that you've shared, the memories that you've shared, the, it was a great comfort in this person's life. All right, spirit. A message from the person showing up in this reading towards Pisces. The next action they are going to take towards Pisces. And we have magical and powerful new beginnings aligning with one another. Like I said, they do have high hope for this connection. I used to limit my goals and place myself in a box. I mean, that's a jar, but same you know, same image in a box based on what I was told I was capable of. Since meeting you, my views have expanded and I am trying to dream big because of you. I know I deserve more. With the seven of wands and the seven of cups, you've really even made that impression on this person. Yes, they pushed you away. Yes, they had their guard up. But like I said, I feel like they had multiple things that they needed to figure out before coming to you and being able to focus on just this connection. All right, let's see. We have A, O, I, V, R, L, C, E, U, Y, W, and the rest are repeats. Let me just make sure. I, O, A, E, R, L, Yes. Okay. So take what resonates, Pisces. Make sure you're watching your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement readings for additional clarity on the next move that they are going to take towards you. Um, it's never going to completely resonate. I do offer personal readings in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box, so head over there anytime you're interested in that. But like I said, leave a leaf emoji for the um, free giveaway this month and go ahead and subscribe. So much love and light. I hope all of you had an amazing Halloween. For those of you that celebrate it with your kids, your nieces, your nephews, even yourself. Um, and I will be back for many more readings.